200 people in Hamas tunnels, which has to come back safe and alive. And the reason we come here to say it, to scream it, is please wake up to the people in the world, to the people in Europe, please wake up. Because this is not a land conf conflict. This is not a land conflict. This is a religious conflict. Uh, I think our top priority uh, should be to return the hostages home. Um, I don't know what is the best way to do this. I don't know how much it's going to, to cost, but I know this is the top priority. And these people who are just civilians, who did not deserve to get any of this, the, the traumatic events that happened to them, which are comparable only by events that happened in the Holocaust. They killed and beheaded babies. They burned houses, burned people alive. Israel itself can only deal with Hamas as a terrorist organization, but they can't negotiate with them. This is why we came here to Italy, and specifically the Italian government has been in contact with me for uh, since almost the beginning, trying to negotiate with countries who can contact Hamas, like uh, Qatar and Egypt, uh, so they can uh, negotiate for the return of my family and every, everyone's family. But we can't trust Hamas that they actually keep them alive or in well, well humanitarian conditions. And the narrative that Hamas are fighting for freedom is just false. Hamas is uh, fighting other religions and everyone who believes in them and is willing to kill them and conquer them. And uh, just like we saw in Europe the last week, in France, where a teacher is, uh, was stabbed, or in Brussels, where, someone, where two people were shot, this is not going to stop in Israel if other countries are not going to wake up and understand that Hamas needs to be stopped. And the people uh, have to explain to other people uh, their mistake in supporting Hamas. The main thing that hurts me is seeing in those protests uh, signs of people saying kill all the Jews, kill the Jews, throw them in the garbage. And uh, it really scares me to see anti-Semitism rising up through all over the world and people, especially people legitimizing anti-Semitism now, saying it's because of certain things. when. I don't think there should be any place for anti-Semitism and such things. As Hamas isn't communicating with us and, uh, or with Israel, there isn't any sort of information. There are 220 families waiting for any, even the smallest sign of life, smallest proof of life on their loved ones. Uh, and that is what we ask of anyone in the world. Just get us the foothold, get us the, the small opening that will let us start the conversation. It will let 220 people, 220 families know the state of, the true state, the current state of their loved ones in captivity.
what I, what I think they need to do, everything. Everything they need to do to bring him home. S release 4,000, 5,000 prisoners, I don't care. Bring my side home. That's what I want. I want him here. If they need to release a prisoner, release prisoner.